Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Project Ozone 3 Kappa. Oh, yeah, guys. So last episode, we made a better storage system. We checked out the Magnetic Craft shelving unit. Yeah, this thing is fantastic. I was thinking originally we'd have to, like, store things on the different shelves and they weren't connected because I haven't used this thing before. Um, but, yeah, pretty much you just put things into the top shelf. Click this button here. It sorts it all down for you. And you can just search for things like uh copper for instance on all of our stuff that's copper will show up here now speaking of copper i have actually uh put a whole bunch of copper over into our smeltery so we should have some blocks yeah 38 blocks of copper we're doing pretty good on that now i have taken a lot of our iron and i just ran it through our endist furnace here i set up a small automation uh so yeah you put items into the top you extract items from the bottom I assume fuel goes into the side, which I didn't hook up because it'd kind of be in the way. Uh, but yeah, we've smelted down a whole lot of our iron. And since I smelted it all down, we've gotten even more of the stuff. Yeah, it's getting a little crazy up in here. Uh, let's just put top level this and then I'll sort that down. Uh, so yeah, we have a lot more copper. Now off camera, I did, uh, I did sift a whole lot of stuff. In fact, over here, all of our meshes are now diamond. Yes, I took a whole bunch of gravel and I sifted it and I started upgrading these. And once I got five of the uh, iron ones turned into diamond ones, I switched over and started sifting only exclusively on the diamond ones because it gives you diamonds twice as fast. Anyway, and then I upgraded the rest of our iron ones as I did that. But yeah, we are now completely diamond mesh over here. Well, we got nine of them. Uh, eventually I would like to have a lot more than that so we can do like half a stack at a time or maybe a full stack at a time if that's possible. I can't remember if you can do that or not. Anyway, uh, diamond, we are up to 15 of them and I have been using them on, uh, making new diamond wands. This is still our first diamond hammer. But anyway, uh, what I wanted to look at today is finally, let's just, let's just do it. Let's upgrade our crops over here to where they need to be. Uh, yeah, we have our farmland here with our hemp seeds on it. We're still trying to grow these things and it's going really slow without any type of speed boost. Now I have kind of gone into a creative world and was kind of playing around with different options here. Now that we have the ability, or at least we know about using translocators, let's go ahead and make ourselves a, a fluid translocator and we will make ourselves a sink from cooking for blockheads. Yeah, the sink is really good. That requires some terracotta. Uh, we don't have any terracotta, but we do have the clay. Did I say terracotta? Terracotta. And we do have clay uh, to smelt into it. But yeah, pretty much the sink will give us unlimited water, which is one of the things that's holding me back from making these sprinklers to begin with. So we'll get unlimited water from the sink and we can use translocators to pump that into the, uh, I guess it's called a, a water tank. Yeah, the wooden water tank. Uh, so to make this sink, we do need three iron and a bucket of water. Grab those three and then I have a bucket of water on me. So we are good to go. So we'll do that. There's our sink. And then we do need to get ourselves the other stuff here, like a translocator for one, which we've seen those being made uh, in order to hook this up, we are going to need to get ourselves, oh, what is this agri craft? Uh, these guys down here, the wooden irrigation channels. Now there's two different types. You have the wooden irrigation channels themselves, and then there are the, the uh, wooden ones that don't have any visuals. It helps with lag, essentially. The uh, smaller ones render the water inside of them, and these bigger ones do not. So if it becomes an issue, like these are causing too much lag in your world. You can just craft them into these other ones. But anyway, to make these, we just need to get four planks and then we can do that. And we have 12. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and convert all of these. And then we need to get sprinklers, I think. Yeah, these things. The sprinklers attach to the bottom of the wooden irrigation channels. Now, each sprinkler requires a bucket and some iron bars, iron and a slab. How many extra buckets are we up to? Right now we have seven. Uh, Yeah, you know what? I think that's fine. I'm going to 
put one away just so I don't. Well, I guess we have a lava bucket here. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I actually want more than this. Now, we got buckets. Oh, we can just craft them from iron plates. We can do that now, actually. Let's do that. So we'll grab iron. We need the uh, hammer. I was going to use the loot bags. Yeah, I was going to use the loot bags, but we don't actually have to do that. If we can just hammer out into place and craft it ourselves, let's just do it this way. There we go. Easy as that. And then this, 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 another bucket. Awesome. So yeah, we have nine. So the idea is I want to have nine sprinklers. So in order to do that, we're going to need nine more iron. Grab that out of here. And what else was it? Iron bars. Oh, we have, yeah, it's two iron bars per. So we need one more recipe. So I need six more iron. I think that was the correct amount. Maybe that was one too many. Okay. And then we need nine slabs. So plink, we are out wood. Let's just do, oh, we have some slabs here. That's not enough though. So we need to do three more and do this and that, this, that. There's nine sprinklers, awesome. Okay, and then I might wanna make some more wooden water tanks. I'm not entirely sure how many of these we need. I was thinking we would do, well, maybe one's enough actually. Let's not go too crazy until we know that we need more. How about that? Okay, so we need the translocator, and that is made with the pistons, so cobblestone, invar, red alloy. Uh, so we got a lot of redstone now that I've sifted a bunch of dust. Oh, we only need eight of those. We have the iron, so that needs to be turned into one of those that goes into here. We need to get ourselves invar, one of those, some, uh, well, we have the wood on us. We need cobble. Okay, that guy. Cool, and I think, no, just three, right? For the piston. All right, so we have the piston done. Uh, four redstone, pearl, lapis. So pearl, redstone, lapis. We have all of that, and I think it was two iron. Two more iron. Okay, now we should have everything for our liquid translocator. Of course, we're gonna wanna put uh, glowstone on it, and we don't care about redstone connectivity or sensitivity or whatever. That doesn't matter. Uh, not for this, because this is always going to be on. And I guess I don't need those iron bars on me. Okay. Uh, so we have everything that we need, I do believe. Now, so something to keep note of. Actually, let me grab some blocks here so I can do a little bit of building. I also made myself the crescent hammer from thermal and then I right clicked on the drawer which turns it. So we do have a crescent hammer now. That was like one invar and three iron so it wasn't that expensive. Anyway, one thing to keep note of, agricraft plants need a block of air above them so don't put your sprinklers too low. Uh, so this is going to be the level of where the sprinklers are going to be which means this is going to be the level of where the irrigation channels are going to be. So now we can place these guys out here and I'm gonna do three by three, which might be a little overkill, but honestly, the more you have, the faster things grow and I think that'll be just fine. Okay, so we can do that. Then we need to attach the sprinklers to the bottom side. And I do believe by default, the animations are turned off for these. Normally with uh, the sprinklers animation turned on, it makes a whole bunch of particles and causes a lot of frame rate lag I, in my experience. Uh, but yeah, that does not appear to be the case in this mod pack. So yeah, the irrigation channels have to be attached to a, a water tank of some type. And I don't know if you have to have more than one or what the benefits are, but we have four of those. So we'll just put four here. We might expand it out to uh, nine of them, do a three by three. But for right now, that should be good. Now we need to put our sink here. Well, I guess it doesn't have to be there, but we're gonna put our sink there. This and this, and then we will put glowstone here to fill that up faster. Just right click that, and you see all the water going into our wooden water tanks, which is going into our irrigation channels and running the sprinklers, even though it doesn't really look like they're doing anything, trust me, they are. You can see the water level says 994. It's not full, which means yeah, the sprinklers are doing something. So now that the sprinklers are going, that should allow this to go a lot faster. 
And I think we could probably turn this into a five by five and make it go even faster. I'm not sure what the range is on these sprinklers horizontally, but I think they do have a limit vertically. Like they can only go down three or four blocks or something. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and wait for this thing to grow and then we'll be right back. All right, so that took a little bit longer than I thought it would take, but you can see that it's growing up quite quickly. We just went from 37 to 50 to 62 to 75. So the sprinklers are in fact working. Uh, so this seed, let's go ahead and we will analyze it. Uh, the parents are a 657 at this point. This is a 788, so 657. Yeah, that gained quite a few stats, right? I think that's pretty good. So we'll do like we do, get rid of these things. Now, another benefit of having those sprinklers up there is I need a whole lot less bone meal in order to grow these seeds, right? And then uh, use the clippers on them. So let's get rid of this stuff. I don't really care about that right now. Uh, so clippers, yeah, as that is just growing from the sprinklers, we can uh, grab the clippings. We probably don't need nine. Uh, being that the strength is eight, we should probably every single time get this thing to take. Yeah, so that's pretty good. Like, it's not 100%, but it's definitely a lot better than it used to be. And then we're going to need one more crop stick. Now, you got to wait for the crops to mature. We've talked about that before. If they are not mature, they won't pass their stats on. And you might as well just not even have them here, pretty much. Uh, but yeah, we'll just wait for these things to mature. We'll put down the next set of crop sticks, the cross crop sticks. And then we'll uh, move on. Come on, you can do it. All right. There we go. Now, I've seen before where you can do like a shift right click onto the plant so it won't give you the pebble. <laughs> uh, but in this pack, or at least with these crops, if you try doing that, it actually harvests the plant when you place it. So yeah, kind of a problem. But anyway, we'll just let that go. This should be a lot faster going forward. Oh yeah, another thing. Off camera, I went ahead and that's why, oh, I guess I didn't talk about that yet. Uh, I made a bunch of iron crooks and I grew a bunch of large oak trees and I infested them. Uh, to get some string. So we got lots of string and I've taken a bunch of that string and I've turned it into leather. And from that leather, I went ahead and I remade leather armor and then I turned it into whatever the different armors are. And I made it all the way back up to the tin armor, which we have a quest complete for. So let's go ahead and claim that one. In fact, we have a quest complete here for uh, the diamond mesh. So we can claim that as well. I think that's all the quests that we have complete. Yeah, I don't see any other of the exclamation marks here. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and start knocking out some of these other quests, like furnace upgrades. There are a bunch of upgrades that we can do to our furnace to increase it. Now, ore processing upgrade, I think this will allow us to double ores, but I don't know if we can craft this yet. That does require nether quartz. And in order for us to get nether quartz, can we sift for that? Yeah, we have to sift soul sand. We don't have that. That pretty much requires us to go to the nether and then another thing that I wanted to look at, let's put this away and sort that. I guess I'm gonna put all this stuff away. Oh, I didn't put these clippers back. I'll have to do that. Yeah, another thing that I wanted to look at, if we go to the beta section, black quartz, this is going to unlock us, or unlock the quest for doing the atomic reconstructor. And we need to do this in order for us to make the next tier armor. So I kind of want to get this black quartz um, so I think we'll do this. So black quartz is our next goal. And in order to get that, we need to smelt smoky quartz. And to get smoky quartz, we need nether quartz wrapped around coal. So again, we need nether quartz. So we have two different reasons to go back to the nether. I don't really want to go back. We died the last time we were there, but we're going to have to go back. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the clipper back and then I think we'll look at making ourselves just a vanilla bow, some kind of way that we have ranged damage. I no longer need this stuff over here, so I'll bring that back. Yeah, we need a way to give our, to do ranged damage because I don't want another encounter with a brute up close and personal. And then I'm also going to use blocks to stack up in case it becomes up close and personal. So we'll just grab some string real quick uh, and then some sticks. And then we have plenty of flint, plenty of feathers, I think. We'll have to see what our chicken's doing over there. Uh, we have been collecting feathers from our mob farm as well. Speaking of that, this chest is probably full and we should take a look at it. I did upgrade this to a double chest. Oh no, it's not full, man. So we're getting a lot of artificial bags and I'm not really sure what the artificial bags are. 
It says one of many, but when I've opened them up previously, uh, it just gives you like garbage. I thought that the artificial bag was the one that was, that would potentially give you another star or itself over and over again, but it doesn't appear to be the case in this mod pack. Hey, oh no, never mind. I was like, hey, we just got a bow from that. No, that was the one I just made. Anyway, we can put this stuff away. Uh, how much does this give you? So we're at five, five, seven, seven. So it only gives you two. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really sure what the artificial bag is all about. Let's try opening one. Yeah, see, it just gives you like stuff that we already have. Nothing like super important. So I'm not I'm not really sure what the purpose of it is. I do want to come over here and grab the rest of our stuff though, just so we have plenty of space for collecting in the future. All right, so arrows is the next thing that we need to do. And like I said, we have plenty of flint. Put this stuff away and sort it. Flint. Yeah, I've had to turn all of our flint into compressed flint blocks. How are we doing on feathers? We have 26 and sticks. We have 10, but we have plenty over here. So we need at least 26 sticks if we're going to turn all of our feathers into that. And then... Our chicken friend over here, I'm sure, has been producing more. Uh, we have three. Yeah, we'll just leave that alone. I don't think we're going to need more than this. As, and then we're eventually going to get infinity and stuff, so that doesn't matter. Actually, we might just have arrows, right? No, we have not received any arrows, apparently. Okay. I was thinking our mob farm might have been uh, giving us arrows, and I just forgot about it, but apparently we don't have any. So this, 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 and that. All right, so we got a stack plus 40. I think that should be good enough. Okay, let's put this stuff away. And I think we should be ready enough. Yeah, we should be ready enough. I was thinking that I should fill it up with my water bucket like I normally do. Anyway, we're going to head back to the nether. We are going to... We're going to look for nether quartz. That's our goal. Oh, another thing. Yeah, with all of the sifting that I've been doing, we got a whole bunch of lapis. So I have upgraded our pickaxe to um, fortune three and our sword to looting three. So we have both of those. But anyway, back to the nether. Hopefully we don't have any brutes just hanging out by our portal. That's going to wreck us. Uh... We have those little spinny things down there, but I think that's fine. Okay, so nether quartz. That's what we're after. There's some nearby. I think we should be able to go and get some. I do want to get a little bit of nether rack on me as well. In case we get lava, right? Put that in the offhand. Okay, let's just vein mine this. Okay, now this mod pack, I wonder, do the pigmen, like... Do they get mad? What is that little guy over there? Is that a white? Do the pigmen get mad if you take the ores? I think that might be a thing. I actually don't know. Um, there's something to be careful of. That's icy nether rack. Do we have any other easy to get nether quartz around here? And that is the question. Uh, there's some right up there. That's not bad to get to, I don't think. Okay, so we'll just dig ourselves like a little path up there. All right, we should be able to vein mine and then collect it. Awesome. So we got a stack plus three. That's not a whole lot. And there was a, some more over this way. Let's just kind of bridge over, I guess, and grab this. I want to be close enough so my magnet grabs this stuff. Nether quartz. Yeah, let's grab it. Cool. So... Wait, that only gave us one. I guess that was just a single solitary nether quartz. That's not very good. All right. Well, we have a little bit. And we should be able to make ourselves that smoky quartz. Oh, spore creeper. Uh, That guy sees me for like forever away. I'm good. I don't really want to fight you. I'm hearing like all sorts of noises. I don't know. Oh, is it? Okay, it's like that mushroom... This guy right here that's making that sound. I don't remember if those guys are hostile. I guess we'll find out here in a moment. If it is hostile, it doesn't appear. Okay. No, 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 no. Yeah, we're not doing that again. I saw you and you saw me. 
<laughs> he came over real fast. No thanks. Didn't I see another one? Wasn't there two of them? Oh my goodness, those brutes are those boots brutes are a little crazy. But now that we have the bow, like we have a way to manage them, as long as we can stack up. Thankfully, they don't break blocks and or climb or whatever. There's a white right there. We want to get rid of that. Okay. Now, is there any other... Uh, there's soul sand, and soul sand is a thing that we needed. Let's get rid of this white as well. We'll leave that spore alone. I'm not really sure what that does or doesn't do. But yeah, I want to get some of this stuff. Oh, I'm hungry. Eat. All right, so we got plenty of soul sand. Let's go ahead and fix our shovel. Uh, that didn't level up, but it, we're over halfway to the level. So I think we might be okay. I'm gonna head back. We'll take a look at using what we have here in order to uh, per make some progression. But yeah, I definitely don't wanna stay in the nether too long. And if we can keep our armor from getting dinged, I think that would be okay. I did try taking our old coal armor that wasn't broken and upgrading this and it won't let us do that. So it has to be perfect armor as far as I can tell. All right, so we'll put this stuff away, that, this, that, and that. We'll keep the arrows on us. I think that should be fine. All right, and put that away. Cool. All right, so to get to our quest, we wanted to do the black quartz, or I guess smoky quartz. So that is nether quartz wrapped around coal or charcoal to make this stuff. Uh, let's grab... Oh, I don't know. I think we got plenty of coal, so I don't feel bad about using this stuff. So let's just grab some of this, and we will make some of the smoky quartz. How about that much? That's a stack. Perfect. All right, we'll take that. Uh, and then I guess we just smelt it. Okay. Okay. Now, can we double this with the, uh, the upgrade? I wonder. I wonder. Let's stop doing this for the moment. This should give us a quest complete, I think. All right. Uh, let's go back to this page here and let's take a look at the ore processing upgrade. Now, I know that's not an ore, but let's try this. So we need eight iron. And then one nether quartz. So we should be able to do something here. Uh, oh, I should have bookmarked that. Um, this, that. So four glowstone and four more iron. And then iron or, or iron ingots. There we go. Cool. So now we should craft this guy. I assume that just pops into here. Enables the processing of ores. Now, does that give us two per or is it not doing anything? Let's just try putting one in here. It's just one. Okay. So that doesn't help us at all with this uh, process. Oh, doubles output. This is what I was thinking of the processing output. Okay, well, that requires ultimate ingots and purple diamonds, so no, we cannot do that. But if we put ores in there, uh, let's take a look at this, ore. Like if I put an ore, well, let's do 16. If I put that in here, are we getting two at a time? Oh yeah. Okay, so that's good. We no longer need to use a smeltery then. We can just use this furnace. I think that'll be just fine. I like that a lot. And then we'll grab these guys and put that away. Cool. All right, so let's go back to the quest book and continue on here. So we have done black quartz. We can claim this. And then it wants us... Oh, you know what? This is awesome, too, because that unlocks the, the dank knolls. Ooh, that's so good. Um, So the atomic reconstructor. Let's add that to our bookmark. And then I guess we'll take a look at the dank knoll as well, if we can make this. Get rid of these guys. Okay. So Dank Knoll requires four of the Redstone Dank Knoll panels and the Dev Knoll, which is an apple and a cobblestone. The Redstone ones do require empowered stuff, so we can't do that just yet, so we'll get rid of that. Okay, so the Atomic Reconstructor requires iron casing, which is sticks, black quartz, and iron. Well, that's easy enough. Iron. Uh, I think we're out of sticks, right? 
We'll grab some from our plant over here. Okay, this, that, iron casing. And then we need four more redstone in order to do that. And here we go, Atomic Reconstructor. Awesome. So that's another quest complete, right? I didn't actually, oh yeah, this is complete now. So we'll claim that and we'll get the fanfare here in just a moment. So now that that's unlocked, we can do the empowerer and look at doing the uh, different reconstructed materials. Uh, but in order to do that, we are gonna have to provide it with power. So our first power might just be our water wheels. Since we made these, but we do need the dynamo, like I said before, in order to craft that. And yeah, we made the iron grate machine blocks, the red alloy ingots, we can do that. And we are able to make the copper coils. So let me go ahead and make the dynamo and we will look at setting up a first power. So I've been trying to figure out what kind of blocks we should build the base out of, and I'm still uncertain, but I went ahead and I made some white concrete. Yep, the vanilla white concrete. And in fact, I made a whole lot of it. Uh, that should be like nine stacks worth of sand and gravel turned into the white concrete powder, which I have in turn turned into the uh, white concrete with some water. I've leveled up my pickaxe, so I, I guess we have four modifiers available on there. I really want to increase the durability. This thing really has very little durability. But anyway, uh, so we have built a structure out of white concrete. Now, one thing I did notice, uh, it does increase your speed as you walk on it. So building the base out of concrete actually makes a lot of sense for just moving around. So yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to doing that. Now I wanted to put glass around the outside of it. In fact, I'm not sure if this needs to be one taller or not. So I haven't really done anything with that yet, but uh, I want to put glass around the outside. So we are smelting down sand currently. And with this ore processing upgrade, it is in fact giving us two glass per smelt, which is pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh, did that just finish? Oh, we just ran out of uh, the coal. Let's do coal. My phone just went off in the background. It's going off again. Stop it. Uh, so we wanted that and that. Okay, there we go. Awesome. So yeah, uh, anyway, I wanted glass and I was looking at the different chisel variants of glass and the vanilla white glass, or I guess the clear glass really doesn't have that many different options. Like, I mean, there's a lot of options, but I'm looking for connected textures or something that doesn't show like the borders around every single block. Not a lot of options here. Uh, now if you dye it and then you chisel it, uh, you can do the streaked version, which I've used, I think, in Enigmatica for like our different separators. There's no like defining border between the blocks, but you still see like, you know, streaks on it. So it's not completely transparent, but I think that's going to work good. Um, so I was trying to decide what color glass we should do. We have blue, we have white. I guess we could do light blue as well. And we also have withered dust from this nether X mod. Uh, like when wither skeleton spawns and they die, they drop the wither bones, I think is what they're called. And then they can be turned into this, which acts as a die. So I think we're just going to end up going this way. I don't know how much glass we need. I'm going to do two stacks and we will turn that into, oh, that's where that glass went. Uh, we'll turn that into the, uh, stained glass with streak. And I think that'll end up looking pretty good. Now we want to put the di the kinetic dynamo in here and that has to be in the center. I think it has to be right here. So we'll go up two blocks. We'll put the dynamo. Actually, I guess I need to go up one more so I can get up here. We'll place the dynamo. Now I don't remember which way you place this. Is it this way? Let's try placing it this way. So the thing is out. No, I think it's the other way. I think the thing has to be inside and that's what the water wheel attaches to. Yeah, I think something like that. And then we can attach our three water wheels like so okay very good uh yeah and then we got to fill in the whole thing full of water now if i wanted the bottom to be flush we'd have to raise this up one more block it looks like and then put white concrete along the bottom we might do that i don't know i just want to get this thing going for right now uh so i'll fill in the borders with this 
and then we will get this thing set up so it should output the maximum amount of power, and then we'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, so we got ourselves our water wheel all hooked up. So the main water is directly above the water wheel. It flows over, down, and around. And then over on the side here, we go up a block, and then we have water flowing away from the water wheel, which does add to the power. And then up at the top here, we have water that's flowing into it, one block lower than where our initial source blocks are. So yeah, uh, we are adding just a little bit more. I don't know what the power output is in this mod pack. I've seen it before where the power output with this particular setup is 88 RF, but I don't know if that's what we're getting here. But anyway, we are going to get this all hooked up. So we are using our LV wire connectors on the back of the dynamo and we are doing this to here. Yeah, I wasn't sure if we had to use the LV wire relays. So I went ahead and I made those. Oh, we are doing, it's automatically lasering. We don't want to do that. So let's right click it with the redstone torch and now put it onto pulse mode. Uh, with pulse, it'll only go when there's a redstone signal and we have a pressure plate right next to it. So pretty much when we drop something onto that pressure plate, it will laser. Uh, so we, we really need to do 24 coal into the void crystals in order to make the next tier armor. And that's really what I want to do. So let's see what we can do with that. And that just converted all of that very easily. Cool. So yeah, that's storing up 300,000 RF into it. All right. So now that we have that done, we should be able to upgrade our armor when we're tier. So let's do that void crystal this. So this is going, yeah, it's just the same. It has more durability, but just one shirt. Okay, we'll do the void crystal chest plate. Uh, again, no, no increase in protection at all. And finally this one, yeah, still no increase, but it should be increase in durability. But we don't want to take durability damage <laughs> because that will make it so uh, we can't upgrade it any further unless we repair it on Anvil or whatever. This armor doesn't look too bad, actually. It's not it's not terrible looking. I do kind of like it. Cool. Uh, let's go ahead and claim the reward from this. And do we have any others? Uh, this is showing a thing like we have a reward, but I'm not seeing. That's weird. The quest book might be broken or maybe that just didn't update. That didn't update. Okay. Yeah, so we don't have any other quests available here. And where were we just a moment ago? We were trying, was it, it was the beta tab. That's where it was. Yeah, so we've done that and we have done the void crystal, but we need to do all these other ones in order to complete this quest. So I think we're probably gonna hold off on that until next time. Yep, we have run out of time for today's episode. But yeah, we finally got our first little bit of power online. We got our first little bit of technology going. That's really awesome. But anyway, guys, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you liked it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.